How's it going everyone? John Castle here, Fairfax Virginia's top personal trainer. I want to talk to you today about how much calcium you need and why you need it. So when it comes to understanding how and why you need to strengthen your bones, you have to realize that one in five women under the age of 30 already have osteopenia, which is basically the stepping stone to having full-blown osteoporosis. The way you prevent this is by strengthening your bones and fortifying them with the proper minerals and nutrients and vitamins along with resistance training and exercise. Now your bones can handle up to about 1200 pounds of pressure without snapping. For instance, your hip bone, which is one of the stronger bones. But the wild part about this is that your bone is constantly breaking down and repairing. This gives you a new skeleton about every 10 years of your life. Why you need to stock up on what feeds your bones, which is calcium, is because over time, at right around the age of 30, the other compound that strengthens and fortifies your bones is estrogen. And for women, that's the production of estrogen starts curtailing at around the age of 30. So fortifying and storing your, your bone mass and density up before that is extremely important. So when it comes to having a diet with optimal calorie intake, it's completely necessary for fortifying growth and density of your bones as well. Because when you're on a low calorie diet, your bones will actually weaken. When you take in optimal calories though, you're, that's one thing you don't have to worry about. And especially if you're combining it with foods that are giving you all the essential vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that are necessary for bone health. For example, did you know that 68% of women don't get enough calcium from their own food they eat every day? Let's say dairy isn't your forte. Well, that's not a problem. Because the thing about calcium is that it's actually high in beans and every type of nut. So it doesn't matter if you're munching on some almonds or peanuts or even black beans, you're going to still be able to get that recommended amount of calcium per day, which is about a thousand milligrams. Protein from lean meats can also help you maintain bone mass. Overdoing it on exercise is actually bad for your bones, so make sure to be smart about this. Don't waste hours on an elliptical. Get outside, go for a run, challenge your body a little bit, but make sure to also do resistance training with weights, as this is really the best way to strengthen your skeleton. A thousand milligrams that's recommended for women per day is definitely not enough, especially with how in our American diet we tend to take an excess of salt, caffeine, and alcohol, which all contribute to breaking down your bones. So when you avoid these three main sources of bone depletion, optimize your calorie intake with high quality nutrient dense foods and also throw in exercise at least three to five days per week with resistance training of weights and some form of cardio such as running or walking will strengthen your bones for the rest of your life.